Welcome to your C News. I'm your anchor Audrey. This is my co-anchor Ziad, and our reporter today is Kelvin, and our news director is Maggie. Today is Wednesday, November 16th, 2016. It is a week two, day four. Stay tuned for today's announcements. Passport to the Arts has begun. Have you been to a concert yet this year? Did you go to see some artwork at a museum? If you have attended an arts event this year, bring your green passport to Mrs. Freeman along with the program from the events or a signed note from your parents. And Miss Freeman can add a sticker to your passport. Over to for the over to you for the shout outs, Kelvin. Thanks, Audrey. Congratulations to all Purple Award winners last week. The Purple Book went to Bellings and Mayo's class. The Purple Cone went to McDonald's and Duran's class. The Purple Dustpan for the cleanest room went to Pickens and Ains class. And the Purple Recorder went to Casey and Gentry's class. Will next week be the week for your class to get the Covenant Award and gold coins? Shout outs to third grade class for giving two great performances last week. Mrs. Freeman is proud of how hard your work in the class and to learn to play the part in independently in your risk taking a perform parts either as a solo with only a small group of students. Shout out to Mrs. Callens and Mrs. Kreifel's class for sitting so quietly in the morning for the whole week. Now over to Zia for the birthdays. Thanks, Calvin. Today's birthdays include Amaya in the Soros class. Head, head on down to the office for your birthday pencil. Now over to Calvin for the lunch. Thank you, Ziad. Today's lunch is cheeseburger with a mandarin orange chicken with a side of salad with a dinner roll with sandwich choice. Now over to Audrey for the weather forecast. Thanks, Calvin. Today's weather should be a high of 59 and a low of 45. It will be partly sunny and mild. Please stand for our pledge. Today's pledge is the pledge to the earth. I pledge allegiance to the earth and to the flora and fauna, human life that it supports. One planet, indivisible, with safe air, water and soil, justice, equal rights, and peace for all. bathrooms and save trees by using less paper towels. See what a mess there was? Be a good hero and help us clean up. Ding! Whoa, this locker's a mess! What are you doing in my locker? Well, I'm just looking at this a dirty hunk of mess. What are you doing? You can't find anything in here. Yes, you can. Find me a pencil. Um, um, Nope. Nope. Uh, ten hours later. Here. That took you five minutes. Okay, so my lock is not the cleanest. You need to have it more organized so you're not more... Scientists prove that if your locker is clean, you can find things. Okay, so how do I clean it? Well, we have someone to help us. Come pick on crew. in the pit crew. So what's my job right now? Whoa, this locker's a mess. So 
what should I start out with? Coats? Well, first, you should, you should probably put all the miscellaneous things in the backpack. Like, where do I put my like, folders? You should put them either in your backpack, in your classroom, or on the And you should also put this miscellaneous paper in your backpack. You need your pencil, so you should probably bring that to class. You should probably need this, so put this right here. And then you can put your gloves in here. And then the inter shoes down here. No. And also put the coat on the hand. Yeah, and then put your gloves and stuff on your backpack and zip it up. Then put your backpack on the hanger. Wow. And now you have a much more organized look. This is See, much better. Is it less possible? I can close it. Okay. Well. Thank you. Well, of course. I cleaned it mostly, but... Uh, no, I cleaned it mostly. Thank you for watching our video. Remember, keep your lockers clean. Oh my gosh, it's Thanksgiving. See you later, but if I can... <laughs> Goodbye, turkey! <laughs> we'll see you later!